My name is Jose Zamora and I am the artistic director and choreographer for Cholo Rock Dance Theater. I'm also an educator here at Calhoun Middle School, Texas Women's University, and at Denton Dance Conservatory. Uh, and I've been dedicating my life to choreography and education for a little over a decade. Um, and I'm very excited to be working in La Dama, which is a project um, that rings very close to what I like to do. And I get to choreograph some movement for um, a semi-fighting sequence and um, to help with the direction of that. In 2008, I started with Cholo Rock, which was at the time an, an idea for movement. And uh, it all branched from um, teaching in a multicultural classroom and working with different populations of students. In addition to my quest for wanting to know what a multicultural experience was. So um, what I did was that I began to combine contemporary dance with um, aspects of, of traditional folk dance and uh, Mexican folk and all of these identities, I guess, and I attempted to merge them and uh, come up with a different style of movement and a different uh, way of listening to Mexican traditional and contemporary music. My biggest connection to working in this film, La Dama, is the idea of bringing forward a different view or perhaps a more detailed or a fresh uh, perspective of Mexican culture within an American format or at least in uh, through the eyes of an American audience. Um, and being able to share that information of my culture was really uh, got me connected to the project. Uh, in addition to um, the iconography, this idea of like fantasy and realism um, to tell a story that is of a basic, basically of a person coming of age, but putting it in a very magical realm that brings all of this detail and um, I like to call it uh, like juiciness to a story, which is really what, um, what got me attracted to it. In addition to the fact that the lead character is a woman um, and uh, to be able to share the story of a woman coming um, into her own is really, I guess, the most exciting part. For this scene, my focus is to really, through movement and physicality, convey the power that a woman's energy can have over a man. And a lot of this, uh, these images of seduction uh, but through raw physicality. So this scene will definitely have a very special look to it, natural yet almost um, folkloric and extravagant and spectacle-ish. Uh, so hopefully I'll find a good blend of those two concepts. The movement is gonna be contemporary based, a lot of grounded uh, modern technique, mainly because we are working outside. Um, and the idea is that these women are almost part of the uh, environment. So it's important that they feel connected to the space through weight um, and definitely a lot of movement in the limbs because um, we're in a forested area for the piece. So um, I don't know, it just seems like there has to be this connection to the earth and also reaching out of the earth into the sky. I find it extremely important that this project be made and that the audience um, experiences it because um, it's basically honoring narrative and a, a person's way of storytelling. Um, the, the story is, is not a simple one, but it's easy to, to follow. It's, it's of someone coming into their own and uh, learning how to move past distractions or comfort zones or patterns in their own development. Uh, and that's something that is relatable to any person, uh, regardless of gender, sexuality, race, um, cultural background. It doesn't really matter. I mean, there's always an obstacle that we have to overcome. And I guess the, the beauty of it is being able to tell, tell this story in a background that's familiar to me, that's about my culture, that is really rich in color and in energy. That's the most important part for me would be to just be part of this project as well because um, of being able to tell a, a story about being human through the eyes of an extremely fantastic artistic Mexican scope.